This video will talk about different ways to find equations of a line given information about that line. So it's in the, we're going to be doing these in the form of y equal mx plus b, which is the slope-intercept form. And you'll notice that there are four unknowns, x, y, m, and b. We need, to, in order to be able to find these equations, at least a slope and a point. If we have at least that, then we should be able to write the equation. This gives us an x and a y and an m to plug and chug, which would mean that we just have b as an unknown. As long as we have three of the unknowns, then we can solve for the fourth one, because we know how to solve one variable equations. So our first example, write the equation of a line with a slope of negative 3 and contains the point 0, 9. Well, if you look at this, we know that slope is going to be negative 3. And there's two ways to do this problem. The first way we're going to do it is to think that x is equal to 0 and y is equal to negative 9. So when we do that, we now know that y equal mx plus b is the form that we're going into. So we plug and chug. y we said was negative 9, and that's equal to slope, which we said was negative 3, plus our x, which we said over there was 0, and then plus b. Well, anything times 0 is just 0, so we really have that b is equal to negative 9. So now we want to write our equation as y equals some slope times x plus and then some b. And we know that our slope is negative 3, and our y-intercept we know to be negative 9, or our b to be negative 9. So y is equal to negative 3x minus 9 would be the equation for that line. So if you look at this equation again, we still know the slope is negative 3. But if we look a little closer, when x is equal to 0, then we know that we have the y-intercept. So if we would have recognized that this point was 0, negative 9, that would have told us that b was negative 9. And now we're just ready to rewrite the equation. Because remember, you want to plug in for m, and you want to plug in for b. So we rewrite our equation as y is equal to negative 3 times x plus our b, which in this case is minus 9. Exact same equation, just a second way to do it. But that only works if our point starts with a 0 in the x. If it starts with something different, then we have to go through that same process we did earlier. Let's try again. Now we know slope is 3 fourths, and it contains the point x equal negative 8, and y is equal to negative 1. And we know m is 3 fourths. So again, it might be helpful for us to just write y is equal to mx plus b and then plug and chug what we know. y is negative 1, slope is 3 fourths, and x is negative 8 this time, and we'll say plus b. Our negative 1 is our y, and that's not changing, but now we're going to take negative 8 times 3 fourths. And if you remember, we can do the 4 goes into negative 8 negative 2 times, and then we just have to multiply 3 times negative 2 and get negative 6, and then plus our b. And if we add 6 to both sides, then we will find out what b is, and that will be negative 1 plus 6 is 5, equal to so our b is 5. These are the two pieces of information that we need to plug into the equation. Okay, we write it as y equal and then something x and then plus, in this case, our y-intercept. Slope is 3 fourths, so 3 fourths x and plus 5, which is our y-intercept. What happens, though, now they, all they tell us are two points. They didn't give us a slope. But if you remember, from the very beginning, we said you need a slope and a point. It doesn't matter which point we're going to use eventually, but we do have to find the slope with both points. So let's start there. y, which is 9, minus my other y, which is negative 1, which is the same as plus 1. And x, starting with the same x from the point I started my y in, so negative 3 minus 2. 
And when I do that, 9 plus 1 is 10. Negative 3 minus 2 would be minus 5. So we know that our slope is actually negative 2. We have a choice here of which one of these points we want to use, and it really doesn't matter. I'm going to choose this point, and the only reason why I'm choosing this point is because the numbers are littler. That's really the only reason I'm going to do that. So I know that x is going to be 2, and y is going to be negative 1, and I don't know what b is. So plug and chug into y equal mx plus b. y, that looks like a 7, but that's actually just a negative 1. And that's equal to my slope, which we said is negative 2, times my x, which we said was positive 2 over here. x is 2. And then plus b. When negative 1 is equal to negative 4 plus b. And if we add 4 to both sides, to get rid of the 4 on the side that has the b, then we find out that b is equal to negative 1 plus 4 would be 3. So again, here's what we need to write our equation. y is equal to slope, which is negative 2 times x. I have to put my y in red. And then plus our b, which is a positive 3. The last thing we can do is talk about if a line is parallel or perpendicular to another line. Remember we talked about parallel lines having the same slope in a previous video. So if this slope is 2, then that tells me that the slope I have to use is 2. And that also tells me from here, I know that x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to negative 5. Plug and chug into y equal mx plus b. y is equal to negative 5. Put that in red. m is 2. And x is negative 3 plus b. Negative 5 is going to be equal to negative 6 when we multiply plus our b. So we add 6 to both sides and we find out that b is equal to 1. So if I write my equation then y is equal to 2 times x plus 1 because it's a positive 1. And if I can do parallel, then I can also do perpendicular. And perpendicular slopes, remember, are negative reciprocals. So line 1 has a slope that is 2. And my line then, which is perpendicular to it, would need to be a reciprocal, which would be 1 half, and the opposite or negative reciprocal, so I need to put a negative there. I think I prefer to put opposite up here instead of negative because if this had been a negative you might not think what to do. It's the opposite of whatever sign we had. So it's a negative one-half slope that I'm going to use. So my slope is negative one-half. And again plug and chug and we know that x is equal to 4, y is equal to 7. We found everything that we know. So y is 7 and slope is negative one-half, it's a negative one, times my x, which is four, plus my b. Seven is equal to a negative one-half times four. One-half of four would be two, and the opposite it would be negative two plus b. So we're going to add two to both sides which will give us b equal to 9. And if I take all of this information into my equation, I will have y is equal to negative 1 half times x plus b, which is a positive 9.